सुपर हीट एंड रीहीट टेम्परेचर कंट्रोल सिस्टम दिस लेक्चर इज ए पार्ट ऑफ द सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स ऑन बॉयलर फंडामेंटल्स हियर बॉयलर स्टीम टेम्परेचर कंट्रोल इज बींग डिस्कस्ड द फंक्शन ऑफ द सुपर हीट टेम्परेचर कंट्रोल सिस्टम इज टू मेंटेन सुपर हीट स्टीम टेम्परेचर विद इन द बॉयलर मैनुफैक्चरर्स स्पेसिफाइड लिमिट्स जनरली द गोल इज टू ऑप्टेन अ स्पेसिफाइड फाइनल सुपर हीट स्टीम टेम्परेचर ओवर द स्पेसिफाइड बॉयलर लोड रेंज request it is hoped that this lecture is going to be useful to you please press like please subscribe control strategies the control strategy must be based on the particular control mechanisms used and the boiler manufacturers philosophy for controlling steam temperature the strategies consist of spray water attenuation gas bypass gas recirculation burner tilt or a combination of these processes spray water attenuation this control strategy is discussed in detail in the lecture on de superheater or attenuator please go through the above referred lecture gas bypass the flow stream of the flue gas passing the super heater can be split this allows the mass of flue gas in contact with the super heater to be varied by a mechanism called a super heater bypass damper flue gas recirculation boilers with multiple level burners use flue gas recirculation to control super heat by varying the ratio of the fuel fired in the upper row of burners to that in the lower row of burners the furnace heat absorption can be modified thereby changing the temperature of the flue gases entering the super heater a flue gas recirculating fan is also used to add a variable amount of flue gas mass flow to the stream in contact with the super heater before discussing burner tilt we have to discuss tangential firing one of the most popular systems for firing pulverized coal is the tangential firing using four burners corner to corner to create a fireball at the center of the furnace here in the diagram we can see the fireball burner tilt burner tilt is also used to control super heat powerful control drives are used to tilt the burners at angles approximately plus or minus 30 degrees potentially 
दिस इज ए टोटल एंगल ऑफ सिक्सटी डिग्रीज दो इट इज ऑफन रिस्ट्रिक्टेड वैन द बॉयलर इज इनिशियली टेस्टेड इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू हैव द टेल्थ एंगल द सेम एट ऑल फोर कॉर्नर्स टू एवॉइड डिस्टॉर्टिंग द फायर बॉल एंड कंप्रोमाइजिंग द कंट्रोलेबिलिटी द बर्नर फ्लेम इज एम्ड एट ए टेंजेंट टू एन इमेजिनरी सर्किल इन द सेंटर ऑफ द फर्नेस एंड द बर्नर्स इन द फोर कॉर्नर्स ऑफ द फर्नेस आर टिल्टेड एट द सेम एंगल दिस रिजल्ट इन ए फायर बॉल इन द सेंटर ऑफ द फर्नेस विच रोटेट्स एंड कैन बी रेज और लोअर इन द फर्नेस बाय चेंजिंग द टिल्ट ऑफ द बर्नर्स लोअरिंग द फायर बॉल increases furnace heat absorption which lowers the flue gas temperature as it enters the superheater raising the fire ball decreases the furnace heat absorption and thus raises the temperature of the flue gases entering the superheater for a boiler that includes a reheater the burner tilt control is used to control reheat temperature if this can be done successfully there is in normal operation no water spray to the reheat section and the unit thermal performance is not affected reheat temperature control this also means that water spray is needed for superheat temperature control and a water spray system is needed as a reheat temperature override the abnormal operating condition of low feed water temperature from loss of the high pressure heater is one case in which reheat spray may be required a position transmitter sends a tilt position signal to the superheat temperature control system if the superheat temperature is controlled with spray water this signal is used as a feed forward to automatically change the superheat spray as the burner tilt position is changed this prevents the burner tilt change necessitated by the reheat temperature control from causing a change in the superheat temperature request it is hope that this lecture is useful to you please press like please subscribe